What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel, man. Today, I'm doing another video. We're going to talk about the failure rate of the 3.6 liter V6, man, coming out of G GM Power Plant, man. It seems like y'all just been liking these tile of videos that I've been doing when I talked about the LT4, the LT1, so I can't leave out the red-headed stepchild, man, and that's the V6 that it seems like the community don't even care for it because they feel like a SS or a Camille should come with a V8, but the V6 covers lots of platforms, man. So go all the way to the Cadillac ATS, the CTS, the Buick Enclave, the GMC Acadia. I mean, it covers a whole lineup and fleet for them. So I'm going to share with you guys like some of the common issues and problems with that motor, but also some pros too. So let's dive into it. Very first one, the major issue with these V6 motors, and that is the timing chain. The timing chain is a big issue within these 3.6 liter V. The timing chain doesn't last 100,000 miles. Like my personal vehicle I'm in the shop right now, as we speak, is going in for like a timing chain issue. And we just gonna talk about another one on the list. I'm put it right here. It's the PCV valve that just goes out, and the car is at. 80,000 miles and I got at 25,000 miles under a certified warranty and so forth but this is like a common issue with these 3.6 liters and a lot of times like these time of chain issues pretty much go out if due to the lack of like oil changes but I don't like the oil changes or for some reason they just stretch out over time due to like you just using the car what it need to be and it just stretch out and the timing chain just starts to slowly fail and fail. You see a decrease in like the performance, a decrease in like oil, uh, increase in oil consumption and stuff like that. So, and that is not a very cheap job. So if you decide to do that outside of warranty, that's like $5,000 right there just to upgrade the timing chain in a 3.6 liter. Luckily for me, this on the warranty and a few other people I have talked to, like they had to pay out of pocket. And it's like 3,000 and 5,000 to get that repaired. But like for me, it's under warranty, I'm good. But this is a major problem with the 3.6 liter. So this is something to look out for if you guys got that in your vehicle that you drive day to day. So it don't have to be a Camaro, but it can be any other 3.6 liter platform that's coming out of GM. So that's something to be aware of. The second thing is that on top of that timing chain, I talked about it just a few seconds ago, is the oil consumption. These 3.6 liters like to drink a lot of oil. And for example, like the daily I have takes about six quarts of oil, but I have to check it probably every a couple, I'll say every thousand miles or so, because even though it's filled up, up to the brim with oil that is need, which is six quarts, for some reason, within a thousand miles, it seems to like burn like a half a quarter oil for no reason. And the car is just driving around the city. So that is just absurd to me. I don't know why something that's with a smaller block, and it's not like a big block like the LT1 or the LT4 that consumes a lot of it, that's making a whole lot of horsepower. It's not even burning that much energy. If you think about it, and it's just burning so much oil. And that's like the second thing about these 3.6 liters, man. They burn a lot of oil. It's not like the old, like the old V6 like I have currently in my drive with the 3800. Now the 3800 V6 motor is like bulletproof, man. Like as long as you do the regular maintenance, that 3800 will run for like a very long time. Or the 3500, like the 3500 um, that I helped a family member get in their uh, Chevy Impala, like those are pretty good too. But this 3.6 liter, like I don't know where they just went wrong there, but yeah, that's it there. And number three is the camshaft actuators. A lot of people don't talk about that. You won't even know where this even at, but I'm just bringing it up because we're talking about the camshaft, the internals that sits kind of like on the outside of the block that sometimes that's tend to get stuck or completely fail and that is right there along the lines of the timing chain so if the camshaft actuator fails i will post like a link or something here on like what it looks like in the engine block but if this fails even though it's outside of the timing chain issue it's just best to go ahead and get your timing chain and just replace at the same time just to save money because if you fix one most likely the other one's going to fail and like I said, if you're going to go ahead and 
for all this money to fix one thing is better off just changing everything all at once because again this would be an expensive job imagine you just going and you fix your time and change and then the next thing you know a couple miles later down the road 10,000 miles down the road and then all of a sudden your camshaft actually to fail and that's another three thousand dollars especially outside of warranty you would be like man i hate this car this is wasting my time you probably get rid of selling it so that's why i'm making this video to let you guys know this would be what to look out for and these are some things to fix while you already there so we're gonna dive into number four thing because it's actually about eight of them but I'm not gonna go through eight of them, honestly. Like, I'm probably just gonna run through them and the most common issues. Next one would be, that's very common to fill on these 3.6 liters, is the water pump, man. Like, the water pump is very known enemy of the 3.6 liter. I don't know why they don't just upgrade this part, but it is known to fail and cause overheating, overheating issues in your 3.6 liter, man. Even though you thinking about, I topped off the cooling. I double checked everything, but most likely nine times out of 10, the water pump would be your major issue. So I'm looking out for you guys who got the V6s, man, because I know you guys run those cars hard, man. So especially for my people who just got the regular V6, but there's no problem with the regular V6 or the V6 one at least that had the upgraded suspension and you know the upgraded brake system and you guys take it to the track. So that's why I'm making this video for you guys because the V6 one at least, it's like, I say like the perfect autocross car, like the perfect car that you want to do small, tight turns in the model corner, and you don't need all that horsepower like the SS or the or the um, ZL1. Like this is like the perfect. I, I believe this is like the perfect car that you can do those type of runs in going around the track. Not the well, going around the track too if you don't want all that horsepower because. It just varies from person to person. But I feel like if you do a nice autocross in this V6 one at least, it's the sweet spot, man, for you. If you want to go lighter, if you want a little bit more horsepower, I recommend you go up to the LT1. But I feel like the V6 one at least is the best one for this case. But be used, uh, be aware of these issues, like I'm saying, like the water pump, the oil consumption, the uh, timing chain, because the harder you use on the car, the further that chain stretches out and everything else. So it's kind of be like a domino effect of all of this. So as I'm looking down for one more issues, I would say this is common, not on the V6, but I would say it's just all over the whole platform that's made it to this engine. And that is the transmission. So whether you have a Camaro, whether you got the eight speed uh, automatic, the manuals are okay. But compared to these other transmissions that they made it to, like in the Buick Enclave, they had the nine-speed transmission. In the Cadillac, some of the Cadillacs, they had the eight-speed transmission uh, made it to them. Same with the GMC, Acadia's, Terrain, so forth. Like the transmission is common, which is, I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet. They probably fixed it now. But just going forward, like the transmission, the transmission is horrible in these cars where it feel like you ride on the side of the road, like uh, like on rubble strips or whatever, or like this, like you ride in the middle of the road, it's like, dum, dum, dum. like that shutter, like that's like a kind of thing that Jim apparently does not want to fix. And they tell you like, oh, it's probably due to like the oil that they previously used to use, and you gotta drain it out, and then you have to refill it back up with some better oil that they recommend that has more friction or into it but it still doesn't fix the issue. Some people said they fix it, but some people uh, still dealing with this issue to this day. And even on my Camaro, my last Camaro, before I got the manual, the I had an issue with that. And that was an eight speed. So it seemed like anything with that eight speed or nine speed automatic transmission, like avoid that like the plague. But if you got out of the warranty, like just deal with it, but be aware of it that Hey, these issues may come up over time. The mileage vary too, because some people got it at 10,000 miles, some people got it at 20,000 miles. When I had my Camaro, I got it at 25,000 miles, and it, and then it just kept being persistent, and I wasn't even hard on the car then. So those are pretty much the only issues I can think of that I have seen and witnessed of the 3.6 liter V6 motor, man. So if you guys got this motor, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all think. If you had this motor in any one of these vehicles, like the uh, Acadia, Buick, Enclave, whatever, whatever you vehicle you had, if it's a V6 coming from GM, most likely they have this motor. So y'all let me know what y'all think. 
what issues you guys had, and I'm just trying to spread this knowledge because a lot of people don't know about this, but there's something to be aware of, and that's why I made this video. So if you guys like this video, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next